I have a function and I want to divide this out using synthetic division. First thing I need to do is figure out what our A term is. When we look at our denominator, it's in the form of it has to be in the form of x minus a in order to be able to use synthetic division. x minus a, we look over here, we do have something in the form of x minus a. a is equal to 3. I put 3 in the top left corner. And then I go down in descending order and look at all the coefficients. So I get the coefficient of x cubed, it's minus 2. Look at the coefficient of x squared, that's 5. Look at the coefficient of x to the first, that is 7. And then I look at the constant, that's minus 8. Now I just bring down the first power, and then I do some multiplication, then I do addition. So 3 times minus 2, that is minus 6. I add these together, it's minus 1. 3 times minus 1, it's minus 3. Add these together, it's positive 4. 3 times 4 is 12, minus 8 plus 12 is positive 4. This is the remainder. If there is one, if there is not a remainder, this will be 0. Next to it is the constant, and then next to that is x to the first, next to that is x to the squared, and if we had higher powers in this, we would have an x cubed over here, then an x to the fourth, x to the fifth, and until for as many terms as necessary. So this means that when we have divided out this function is equal to f of x we look at our terms and we just fill it in minus 2x squared minus x plus 4. And we can either write the remainder in as you know, r is equal to 4 in just English, or we can or we can write it in as a fraction. Because when it's just the same as regular division, we can write the remainder in as a as a fraction. So we can do 4 over x minus 3. And it's uh, it just depends on what you're using this for. You may not want the remainder. Most of the time in, in algebra we are going to be wanting this remainder. Because otherwise it's not the same equation. But either way, you know what you're doing what you're using it for. You can either just write in r is equal to 4 or you can add it in as a fraction. I generally like to add it in as a fraction. Now I have one more. and This one has a couple of tricks. I mean it's not that tricky but I mean you know you gotta try. You gotta try. You gotta try to trick people somehow. 2x to the 4th plus x cubed minus 16x squared plus 18 divided by x plus 2. So the first thing here, as always with synthetic division, is to figure out what the a would be. And here already there is a very simple mistake that can be made. So we're looking for what x minus a is, and we're looking for the a term. Here we have x plus 2, and it's just very easy to make a mistake and just say, oh, yes, well, the a term is positive 2. But since this is in the form of x minus a, a is actually minus 2. So if we put in minus 2 for a here, we'll get x plus 2. We have minus 2 as our a. And now we need to go in descending order and put in our coefficients. So we start with x to the fourth. That's the highest power. And that has a coefficient of 2. 
Next we go to x cubed, that has a coefficient of 1. Next we go to x squared, that has a coefficient of minus 16. And then we can make another very easy mistake here. And this one is the one that gets made the most in synthetic division. It's very easy to forget that we need to have a placeholder for x to the first. So we go from minus 16x squared to the constant. We have no x to the first. And x to the first is there. It's 0 x to the first. So we have to put it in 0. If we don't put in this 0, this synthetic division will not work, and we'll get an incorrect answer. And we have the constant 18. And now, after we've avoided those two traps, we can solve our division problem. Bring down 2, minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, add these, this is minus 3, minus 2 times minus 3 is positive 6, add these together is minus 10, minus 2 times minus 10 is 20. 20 plus 0 is 20, minus 2 times 20 is minus 40, add these together and we get a remainder of minus 22. This is, again is the constant, this is x to the first power, this is x to the second power, this is x to the third power. So if I want to write out my function again, after it's been divided out, it's going to be 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 20 and we can either write in the remainder in, in English and in Spanish or French or Japanese or whatever you can write it in you can just write remainder is equal to 22 or we can write it as a fraction which would be minus 22 over x plus 2